The Kansas City Royals took the road to Boston to take on the Red Sox at Fenway, dude. Rowanee Solias was on the mound for the Red Sox, the left-hander making his third start of the year, a 6.43 ERA so far in the year for him. And in the top half of the second, Jorge Bonifacio is going off the monster in left. Benintendi is going to miss it over his head and gets away from him, but JBJ is there to pick it up quickly, so Bonifacio is held to a double. And with one out, a pitch gets away from Miguel Montero. Bonifacio moves up to third. Sandy Leone pops things up into the infield. Bogart is under that, so Bonifacio stays at third with two outs now. Whit Merrifield hits one in the left. Looks like that's going off the monster as well. But Benintendi leaps up in the air and catches it. As he strands the runner at third, it's still scoreless. Tyson Ross making his fifth start of the year for Kansas City. With a runner on first in the bottom of the third, it gets Miguel Montero to ground out into a 4-6-3 inning ending double play. We are still scoreless. Top half of the fourth, Bonifacio draws himself a walk. He's on first, Hunter Dozier that hits one right on the button, but it's going to be right at Benny Boyfriend. Puts it away for the second out, and that would do it for Elias as Heath Hembry comes out of the pen in the fourth inning with two outs. And Sandy Leone chops one back up the middle. They try to turn two, or they try to go to second with it, but instead they get nobody. But then Whit Merrifield would make their job easy as he pops things up to second base for the final out of the inning. Bottom half of the fifth now is Rafael Devers is going to bloop one in front of Brock Colton left field for a base knock, so he's on first with one out. Mitch Moreland then hits one into center field. Jankowski has some trouble with it, and Devers is going to go into third, and for whatever reason, as the throw gets into the cutoff man, they send Devers, and Franklin the Turtle is dead meat at home plate, so nobody scores, and then JBJ strikes out on the up and in cutter. So it's still scoreless. Top half of the sixth, and we finally got a run on the board. Hunter Dozier with an absolute rocket over the green monster for a solo shot for the Royals. 1-0 is the score, as we will now move on to the top half of the seventh, where Matt Barnes came out of the pen for the 12th time this year for the Bo Sox. And then with one out, Ramon Torres goes up the middle for a base knock. Next batter up would be Travis Jankowski. The speedster goes right back up the middle as well, and it's back-to-back -back base knocks for the Royals. So first and second with one out. Mike Moustakis then has a base knock of his own, and it's going to score Torres from second. And it's now a 2-0 Royals lead. Bottom half of the seventh now, and Mookie Betts gets a hang and slider over the middle of the plate, and he mashes that one over the monster. 449 feet for Mookie Betts, getting some King Crabs. It's a one-run game now, as it's a 2-1 to -one game moving into the bottom of the ninth. Kelvin Herrera comes on looking for the save. First battery faces is Xander Bogarts. He goes down looking, so one down in the inning. Then it's Benny Boyfriend at the plate. And he's going to hit one past the glove of Dozier at first, so he's on first base. And the next batter up is Mookie Betts. Hits one into center field, bloops for a single, and Jankowski just flat out runs past the ball. And Benintendi is able to score from first base, and that ties the game at two. So with a runner on second and one out, Herrera then gives up a... Blast from Martinez off of the wall. Hold almost makes the catch, but instead it's going to score bets, and the Red Sox walk this one off. 3-2, to two, they score two runs in the bottom of the ninth inning off Kelvy and Herrera. J.D. Martinez walks it off. Betts was the winning run, and the Red Sox improved to 14 and 11, while the Royals dropped to 8 and 15 on a heartbreaking loss. Mookie Betts does get player of the game honors for his monster solo shot in the bottom half of the second inning. Hunter Dozier had the monster solo shot as well for the Royals. It was it was it was his only hit of the game. Bonifacio doubled. Torres was two for three. Jankowski was three for five. But it was just not enough as Tyson Ross's performance goes to waste. He went eight innings, only gave up one hit. Tyler Thornburg gets the win, Herrera gets the loss, and with that being said, that's going to wrap things up here for this edition of Kansas City Royals Baseball. I've been your host, Jerseyborn, and I'm saying goodbye.